Hello there and welcome. Gary Davis is a stuntman stunt coordinator with over 40 years experience, including films like Smoking the Bandit 2, The Lost Boys, Black Rain and Terminator 2. So here is a look at his incredible career. Gary Davis always had a passion for stunts, even as a young boy. I was always wanting to try things. They put me on calves as a young kid, although I never became a very good cowboy. I found motors and wheels worked better for me. Davis graduated with a degree in engineering and physics, but was drawn to the motorcycle racetrack instead of the slide rule. My physics background has allowed me to set things up and eliminate a lot of the unknown factors. So now I can set a ramp and arrive at what angle and length that ramp should be to achieve what distance at what speed rather than just shooting from the hip. Davis's first coordinating job was Viva Knievel, where he worked with the man he considers his mentor, Kerry Lofton. He taught me early in the business that if you weren't willing to do a stunt twice, don't bother to do it at all. He was right. If a stunt is is so edgy that all you can do is get up enough guts to try it once and it's not set up right. And so because of that I learned to set things the way I wanted them and, and for the most part avoided injury in the business. A stunt in which Davis didn't avoid injury was in Smokey and the Bandit 2. They wanted me to jump a car. Hal Needham, the director, had asked for it to be the, the longest jump that a car had made. So. I hit the ramp at 88 miles an hour. Davis soared 163 feet in the air, 13 more feet than he had planned, and he came down hard. The seat malfunctioned and I broke my back, but it was a big one. It took Davis four months to recover from his injuries. One of Gary Davis's favorite stunts is this helicopter sequence. He designed and performed the stunt for the television series Scarecrow and Mrs. Kane. Take him loose. The sequence calls for a villainous helicopter pilot to try and shake the show's hero, Bruce Boxleitner, off the skid. So he started spinning the helicopter around in the air. So there were a number of times when I was just holding on. Come on, come on, take him. But through any of the radical stuff where he's spinning me around or he's dragging me through the trees or the water, I had a harness and a cable running up my arm. It's a sequence that when it came together I was real proud of. I think it's one of the better aerial sequences. I want to make sure that not only is it scary or exciting to me the performer, but that you the viewer appreciate it in the same way. Whether designing high-speed chases or hanging from a helicopter, Gary Davis delivers new levels of excitement to movie audiences the world over.
This year's uh, Taurus World Stunt Awards takes place on Saturday, May the 10th, and we thought we'd take a look back to a very warm occasion on the 2007 show, a fire fashion show like no other. Our classic sequence comes from Against All Odds and is the iconic car chase featuring Gary Davis and Carrie Lofton behind the wheel, uh, followed by Gary Davis receiving his 1985 Stuntman Award for Best Stunt Coordinator, presented by the film's director, Taylor Hackford. Stunt coordinator, Gary Davis. And here to present the award to Gary, the director of Against All Odds, Taylor Hackford. As a director, when you uh, put a race sequence in a film, it's a rather <laughs> weighty responsibility. There historically are great, great races in feature films. Present that to Gary Davis and say, try to do something fabulous. He got out his little cars, <laughs> worked it out, designed it to the nth degree, and was able to bring it off, I think, in a spectacular, wonderful, wonderful way, and did all that work with all those people with a degree of professionalism and safety that uh, is a credit to your profession. Gary? I'm so privileged to be among the honorees here tonight, and uh, I especially want to thank Carrie Lofton, who is my driving partner 
in the in the whole race, and all the other stuntmen that we had to go head on at and, and weave through. And uh, special thanks, of course, goes to uh, Taylor Hackford for allowing me the liberties and the and the the choices that he he gave me to do it the way I wanted to do it. Thank you very much. Right, that's about it for now. More of the same next week. So until then, bye-bye for now. <laughs>